The inflation rate for the month of October has risen to 40.4 percent, according to the Ghana Statistical Service. The new figure largely driven by cost of food and transport. In simple terms, Ghanaians are paying more on basic expenses, but more importantly, they're spending more on food. <laughs> Today, cost of food stuff like tomatoes and others are going up the roof, not even to talk of foods that are imported. Sometimes inflation may sound like a far-fetched concept of figures jumbled up together, but the reality on the ground is that the cost of food stuff are heavily taking a toll on businesses. Christie's Hotbits is a classic example. Christine Ava owns a catering business, and she's making her usual rounds at the Kanishi market. But today, she might exceed her budget, a new normal, she tells me. How much is this? How much did this used to be and how much is it? I used to buy this at 10 cities. Now it's 70 cities. 60 cities different. Not funny at all. Even her suppliers are unable to adjust to the new prices. Local wholesalers have been forced to cancel orders in recent months due to the fast depreciating city. Her supplier has disappointed her once again. Oh, God. What's he saying? Ah, the man is saying that he's actually giving money for them to bring him his supplies, but people are saying, there are people are saying that um, he didn't pay all the money and so they're not bringing all now because when they give it to him, they're not sure of how much the price is going to be tomorrow or the next day. So he's still waiting for the supplies. It still doesn't happen because he doesn't have all the money. That means you can't receive your supplies nope. today? Wow. I can't. <laughs> At the peak of Christine's business, she supplied packs of food to seven companies, but now she's down to four. We're making losses. We have to go back to these companies to tell them what's happening. It's not like tell them what's happening because they're not in Ghana, they're here. But just to explain to them that we are making losses and then they have to top up for us. Three weeks ago when we did that, some of our clients had to drop off the list, saying that um, they're also running at, at a loss, so they can't increase for us. So let's say if we're doing 300 packs before, now our numbers have dropped all the way to maybe like 150. Half of the num number is gone. Things are tougher than she ever imagined, she tells me. It's really affected us because things we're buying way less. Let's say things we're buying 100 cities before, three months ago. Now it's selling about 300 cities or 285 thereabouts. That's way more than 100% increment. Where I've gone for a contract for a year and... Um, Let's suppose you're paying us 20 CDs per pack. Now, I took this contract starting of the year where maybe chicken was selling at 215 Ghana cities. As I talk to you now, chicken is 385 Ghana cities. The predicament of Christine as an entrepreneur is a reality of many who are trying to build small enterprises of their own. They have had inflation and high cost of goods and services eat away their profit margins and in the case of others, their principal. For now, caterers might only have to hope that the rising cost of food might soon see an end. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News, Accra.